What's going on everybody? It's your boy the low-key legend. How the fuck y'all doing today? I'm doing all right today. I am back with a brand new episode of Stoner Tips for you guys today. We are jumping on board with episode 119 of the Stoner Tips series. Today's topic is going to be similar to my last episode of Stoner Tips. The last episode, 118, we talked about sativa dab cartridges. Today's topic, we're talking about indica dab cartridges. So with all that being said, if you guys do enjoy, smash the thumbs up button and let's dive right on into it. So talked about sativa dab cartridges and if you guys saw that last video, I pretty much gave my honest opinion on what that what type of shit that we were kind of smoking uh I, I talked about even it's if it says a label on the dab cartridge itself if it says it's an indica the strain whatever the case is i don't know i personally don't think that it has enough of a noticeable difference when I smoke indica compared to when I smoke sativa. I feel like right now in this current state, it's not a hundred percent accurate. All right. Even though these are real companies going out and making this shit, some indicas I've smoked, I felt like were supposed to be sativas, which is really weird. And you know, the way that they're labeled on the box, it looks very legit. And I was reading some of your guys' comments as well, saying that a lot of companies do not always test their oil, and some of them may contain pesticides, you know, and, and it's just not beneficial for some people to smoke. And that's why I think right now dab cartridges are kind of frowned upon on the weed community. It, it, I think it's not just the cartridges, it's more of the companies that are making certain cartridges, but I'm sure there are dab company cartridge making fucking people that actually do this shit with with, you know all their tests and make sure that it's very quality oil that you're smoking and the labels are matching what is actually in the entire fucking in the dab cartridge but from what I've seen the brands that I've smoked I mentioned a few of them in the last video um, they are not the way that I think a dab cartridge should hit they hit very good I'm not that's not really what I mean by it I mean the after effects of it if I smoke a sativa dab cartridge there's no reason for me to to be wanting to go to sleep in you know 30 minutes like it's not what i thought a sativa dab cartridge would be um but that's kind of what it is now same thing with the indicas i'm kind of just making this one um just, I, it was a, a recommended one by uh, some of you guys out, out there who wanted to see this and also see just have me go a little bit more in depth talking about these specific things but the indica dab cartridges what i have personally noticed is they're it's it's pretty much mixed dude it really is it, it doesn't matter what kind of shit it says on there I think that all the dab cartridges that I've smoked are relatively the same. No matter what strain it is, no matter what it says on the box, how much THC percentage, I'm mainly focused on indica and sativa because when I smoke, I don't want to be tired after I'm done smoking. I want to be able to go do shit still. So that's why sativas would be more beneficial for me. But I'm smoking, back in the day, I was smoking on uh, sativas that would put me to sleep. And I don't think that that should be a thing uh i don't know if it's the difference in the actual wax that's in the cartridge or entirely what the case was with that but certain indicas that i would smoke it would say indica on the dab cartridge box and but when i pop it in and take a couple hits i'm like okay this has more of a, a of an effect that i can notice than the actual sativa one that i was smoking so it's very mixed i feel like all the cartridges right now are in a state of where it doesn't really matter what it says on the box it all matters on kind of how your body processes it um and a lot of the times this is gonna go for people who are not in a legalized state yet so we are kind of as i said in the other video we're kind of the bottom feeders we kind of get whatever company has extras or is selling them super cheap and they're easy for us non-legal states to get our hands on them that's kind of where we're at right now with the dab cartridges because once it becomes legal in the entire United States, I think that this is going to be changed drastically. I think they are going to have a lot uh, more strict things to go on with dab cartridges because they are very underrated or they're very uh, overrated, I think, right now in this point. Like that is the biggest hack ever to get high like I, I cannot believe that these things are actually made like real life shit dude you could take one fucking hit out of a dab cartridge and 
be fried as fuck man like it, like you smoked an entire blunt to yourself type shit and you could blow it wherever and it doesn't smell dude it's fucking crazy but in this one as i said i wanted to talk about indicas but honestly i i would just kind of be repeating myself from the last video as well as i said before dab cartridges are relatively new in this generate in this day and age uh we're everyone who's ever smoked weed is kind of all getting introduced at once to dab cartridges hearing a lot of negative reviews views on certain dab cartridges as well um and i think that i know why now it's kind of the shit that goes on behind the scenes that not a lot of people like to talk about but i figured i might as well spread a little bit of knowledge i don't know a hundred percent you know i don't fucking study this shit every day this is literally my personal experience with it and my personal story on how i think that these dab cartridges are you know processed and made and shit i don't think that they really care if it's a sativa or an indica i'm sure it is when they make it and shit but something is just it, i feel like it doesn't exceed my expectations for smoking an indica as it should um as i said before i could i smoked indicas and some of them i would be woken up to you feel me like just wide awake after i'm not smoking it. i'm like dude this is not what an indica should be doing right now bro and then i'll smoke some sativas and i'll end up falling asleep i don't know if it's the exact strain i'm smoking guys but in the end if you have the opportunity to choose one or the other i'm this is my personal body and shit because i don't know what i would choose like obviously i want to get get a, get sativas but some of the sativas do not have that power that I, I want, especially in a dab pen, when you're smoking, you know, 90% THC in a fucking dab pen and you rip it and, you know, you are you should have a, a lot of the effects of a sativa. And I feel like in like right now where we're at, it's not good enough or it's not noticeable enough for me to actually continue on trying to find a good sativa cartridge. Um, mainly because, as I said before, we got to wait till this shit is legalized everywhere. And I think our options will be way more broad and uh, the selection that we choose from is going to be a lot more um a lot more looked into and studied and made sure that this shit is not is pesticide free and is processed a hundred percent through and out but i guess we're just gonna have to sit back and wait bro so this is kind of a, a little bit of a part two to my last episode of stoner tips but i still did want to make it um i was gonna make a video also comparing the two but i think that if you guys watch the sativa one and you watch the indica one i think that that is pretty much me comparing the two. I don't think I need to make another episode of where I just compare both of them. I think that um, hopefully this will go a lot better in the future with dab cartridges and, you know, the process of being made. But we will just have to see, bro. It's all a waiting game now. I'm still going to, you know, I still smoke the cartridges. It's not that going to be the healthiest thing to do, I think, at this point. But it's very... Um, it comes in clutch in certain situations, uh, uh, smoking a dab cartridge, very clutch. I just wish that they were a little more processed and they knew what the fuck was going on behind the scenes. That's, that's the thing that I don't like, but it is what it is in the end, bro. We're going to have to see, we're just going to have to wait it out. It's going to be a waiting game. Hopefully by the end of 2019, the shit will be legal, uh, at least where I'm at or hopefully in the whole fucking u.s that would be dope as fuck too i just want to wake up one morning and just hear on the news Le weed's legal everywhere like that'd be fucking wild that would be some wild shit anyway this is though guys this has been episode 119 of the stoner tips series talking about indica dab cartridges if you guys did enjoy smash the thumbs up button check out my youtube if you guys have not seen it already i got hundreds of videos out out there follow me on instagram if you guys have not already first link in the description y'all stay safe stay savage Stay low-key, it's your boy, the low-key legend I'm out of here, guys, adios